this is uh, Tom Warren for The Verge, and I'm here with John from Bluestacks, and he's going to talk us through Android on uh, Windows 8. So, as you can see here, we've got Windows 8 Metro UI uh, and Android apps uh, inside of it. Um, this is coming out later this year, and the announcement today from Bluestacks is that we've cracked running Android apps uh, in the Windows uh, ecosystem. Um, so we're bringing 400,000 apps to Windows 8, which is a, a big improvement over, I guess, uh, where it is at least this moment. So here we're in drag racing, a very popular Android app. So you know, 1.3 billion PCs out there, no one's ever played drag racing bigger than you know, a few inches big on a phone. So it's pretty big implications there. As you can see, you know, touch is really responsive in Windows 8. And we're not only touch, you know, like I said, all-in-ones, desktops, ultrabooks. There you go. So that's drag racing. Our compatibility in our beta, which is coming out in February, right now our alpha is available for download, but the beta is coming out in February. Compatibility for beta is way high. It's around 90%. A lot of the things that don't work are like, you know, things that are built for a phone specifically having to do with dialing and ringtones and stuff like that. Uh, even accelerometer, we have a, a, you know, something where it shows you the, the sort of angle of your device and you can actually play accelerometer apps really nicely. Um, and is this, this going to come in the Windows Store in February? Yes, there okay. will be something in the Windows Store. Uh, and in the main kind of channel uh, that people download Bluestacks, and it is a Windows program, it installs like any other Windows program and will in Windows 8 as well, uh, is via our website, bluestacks.com. Um, we're also announcing a relationship with Inhone, which is a Taiwanese uh, OEM. They have an Ultrabook coming out, uh, a Windows 7 Ultrabook in March, and a Windows 8 Ultrabook late in the year that will come preloaded with Bluestacks. And we're talking with a lot of the bigger players uh, right now about preloading this so that when you get your, your Win 7 or Win 8 um, all-in-one Ultrabook, whatnot, tablet, uh, it's just got everything there. As you can see, even in the Windows 7 look, right, there's Metro UI and there's Windows 7, you'll have an Android apps folder. You know, the big thing for us when the beta comes out in February and, and by the time our Windows 8 uh, edition of Bluestacks comes out is just making it really easy to understand for the average user, non-techie, who doesn't want to set up you know, a fancy emulator. It's very intuitive. So you can just open your Android apps folder and there they are, just like Windows programs. Okay, so is there going to be a way for you to sync apps? Absolutely. Android over the Windows? That's a really critical part of this. So we have something called Bluestacks Cloud Connect, right. and it's an Android app. You can get it in the Android market. Yeah. Uh, and whether you have an Android tablet or phone, and you can actually do this now with our alpha version, but it'll be even easier in our beta in February and on Win 8. You just uh, download the app, and it says, OK, Tom, here are the apps on your Android device. Which ones do you want to use in Bluestacks on your PC? You tick the boxes of the ones you want. You hit sync. That's all there is to it. When you get to your PC, you know, right in front of you or a thousand miles away, mm -hmm. uh, your PC, which has Bluestacks installed as a normal Windows program, gets that, and a little thing comes up in your sysdre that says Angry Birds has been installed, Cut the Rope's been installed, yeah, sure. and you can just play them. And later in the year, we'll be able to even sync the data between, so if you're halfway through Cut the Rope on the plane, uh, and you get home to your Windows PC, you'll be able to resume it, you'll be able to resume okay. it full screen, absolutely. Yeah.